Hi there and welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Teresa LaRiva. Jocelyn has the day off. We have a terrific show planned for you. First, if you're a woman over 35 who's given up on finding Mr. Right, take heart. We'll talk with one of the co-authors of a new book, Love for Grown-Ups, a relationship guide for older gals. If you're a woman over 35, can love and marriage still be in your future? The answer is absolutely yes. Just ask three highly successful women who met and married their true loves after they turned 35. It's the subject of a new book, Love for Grownups, the Garter Bride's Guide to Marrying for Life When You've Already Got a Life. Co-author Tish Robbie is here to talk about this relationship guide for women 35 and up. Yes. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. No, thank you for having me. So I think this is an important topic because sometimes there are women that kind of get left behind their friends are getting married, they're getting pregnant, yet they're still searching for Mr. Right. Right. And that's kind of the basis of this book? It absolutely is. Um, I wrote it with two friends, Pat and Ann, and all of us got married over the age of 35 and um, wanted to share the wisdom and what we'd learned and what brides all across the country had learned about getting married later in life. Well, can you give us some of the tips What's, uh, when you <laughs> think, when you're frustrated? What do you do? What do you think? Well, what we really say, we have a lot of great advice in the book, um, but one of the things we always say is just never give up. It is never too late to find true love. Uh, a lot of our brides had sort of said, you know, I don't think this is ever going to happen for me, and indeed that's exactly when it did happen for Probably them. Probably when you're least expect least it, right? Least expect it, yes. Now, I noticed you have a garter belt with yeah. you. This is the <laughs> sisterhood of garter brides. Yes, this is actually a garter. Um, Pat and Ann were the same garter at their weddings. They got married when they were over 35, and they shared it with their girlfriends. And this garter has been worn by brides all across the country who got married when they were 35 and over, so it's ready for the next bride. <laughs> and they Call, we call ourselves the Garter Brides, and I became a Garter Bride when I got married for the first time at 36. Wow, so tell me, this is a personal story. You met your husband years ago, but you kind of reconnected. We did. Uh, I met my husband when I was 16, and he was 17. We were in high school, stars of the high school musical. <laughs> and um, we reconnected after I actually went to a high school reunion. So the Garter Brides will tell you, high school reunions and college reunions. Think about going. Really? <laughs> I'm living proof. It works. All right. So talk to me about a, a long-distance relationship. What, does it normally work? There must be a new set of challenges. Well, there are. And one of the things about being a mature bride is that often you've got a job, he's got a job, uh, maybe you've got fa kids, he's got kids. What you learn, and, and the tips are in the book, is you can really make some of this stuff work because you're older and more mature. A lot of our brides had long-distance relationships. A few of them have long-distance marriages. Now, is there a certain age? group if a woman is over 35 that they should be looking at or concentrating on or is age nothing but a number? I think it's nothing but a number. Mostly, I'll tell you honestly, it's attitude. You know, don't give up, keep giving it a shot, go out on blind dates. Pat and Anne met their husbands on blind dates. So blind dates have kind of gotten a bad rap, but in the book we talk about looking at them as first dates and going out on them. All right, so what's uh, the single most important thing a woman needs to remember when she's looking for grown-up love? I think for grown-up love, the Garter Brides will tell you that the most important thing is, number one, don't give up. Uh, there's always a chance you're going to find that certain person. And also, if you've had a bad experience in the past, some of our brides have, maybe they were married before, just leave that in the past. Look at the new guy with a new outlook, give him a chance, and give new love a chance. So you get to an older age, you're 35, mm -hmm. and you still want to get married, but you have that, that checklist. Yes. Is it time to get rid of the checklist? Do you, I mean, I don't want to say settle, but maybe not be so picky? Well, you know, it's very interesting. We encourage checklists. Okay. Uh, we do encourage <laughs> that you write them in pencil. <laughs> and keep erasers at Funny, the ready. Look what I'm holding. You happen to be holding a pencil. Um, <laughs> and what we found is your checklist when you're 35 is different than your checklist when you were 21. Mm -hmm. And that sits at the core of the book. It's not the same to think about getting married when you're 35 and up than it is when you're 21. So keep an open mind. But absolutely, if there's something that's on your checklist, it's on your checklist. And you have a right to know what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And, you know, keep it on there. But again, keep the eraser around, too. <laughs> what do you think about the new ways of dating, like online dating and the social media. How does that play in? Our brides have done very, very well with internet dating. What we do suggest is that you be as honest as you can in your profile. It's not always the easiest thing. But um, to be open to internet dating, we have had an 
an amazing amount of brides get married with really? uh, social networking. Yes. So, just let me bring you back to the beginning when you were with your friends. How mm -hmm. did you guys come up with the idea to write this book? Well, it was funny because I had heard that all these women wear the same garter, uh -huh. and all across the country, and all these different kinds of weddings, big weddings, little weddings, and I just thought it was a great sisterhood because they have this in common. And now we've started groups of garter brides all across the country. We send out a little garter, and they start it with their friends. So, I see, love you could that. Be, you could be next. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. All right, where can we find your book? Sister? Our book is everywhere books are sold. It's on Amazon. It's on the Harlequin website, and it's in all the big major booksellers. All right, so. we have uh, the book on the screen there. It's uh, again, it is called Love, Love for Grownups, and again, available anywhere. Tish, I want to thank you so much for being here. This was so informative, and you're giving women everywhere hope. Absolutely, it's never too late. All thank right. you so much. Terrific. All right, coming up next, gluten free.